the red LED on. So it looks like it's working. What are you saying, YouTube? Today I'm going to be swapping my cigarette lighter for a two way USB port in my Fiesta ST. What you're going to need a pair of snips, a pair of wire strippers, some crimps. My wire strippers got crimps in them, but for this, and the port itself. You will need some connectors if your port doesn't come with them anyway. And a car helps, I guess. I don't smoke and all I ever do is put a USB adapter in it anyway. So we're swapping it for this. Uh, the first thing you need to do is pull off this surround here and then pull the gator up a bit. Then this whole trim, it pulls out, but don't grip it from the very bottom. Grip it kind of from the top. And then you'll have access to, you kind of got to twist it around, these two connectors here. So you've got the aux connector and the connector for the actual cigarette lighter. Just pull them out. There we go. Cool. And then you'll have this whole unit free, so you can easily remove the USB, not the USB, the cigarette lighter. When removing it, you've got there a little kind of plastic bit that when you push this through, because all you really need to do is push that through, and it will come through. There you go. So once you've pushed it through, there's a little plastic bit, like I said, that's stopping it from actually going all the way through. I don't know if you can see too well, it's just there. I'm gonna cut that off with my snips so I can push the whole unit through. There we go, trim the bit off there, and we've got, can you see me through it? A hole for our USB port. Now would be a good time to test fit. I'll leave a link below for the one, for the place I got this from, it's just eBay. There we go. perfectly cool now we know that fits what you want to do is get the kind of screw on bit which will hold it into place so just screw that on and you want to take note of what way you want this so I want this facing uh, it says USB towards me so like so If it will close, there you go, like so. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure it tightens up to be facing that way. There we go, all installed, all tightened up. It's not going anywhere. Now for the next part, you might wanna disconnect your battery. We're gonna move this out of the way first. Then this connector here, we need to cut the wires and crimp on the two connectors we were, well, which we received in the kit. So, let me try and do this one handed. Snip. So now you got them two wires free. Now what I've done is peeled away these little sleeve it's in uh, and we're gonna basically strip these away so there's enough wire to put on the connector. So one these wire strippers ain't the best. There we go. One, two. You see that there? So yeah, they're stripped and ready to be placed on the connectors. What you might need to do as well is give these a nice little twist. These connectors are a little bit small, but they should work. So yeah. There's one on there. And 
and crimp. Make sure that's not going to come off. Like that. <laughs> so I've jumped ahead and I've got the connectors on the wire. Ignore this, I'm just going to wrap it in uh, tape afterwards. The casing kind of fell off. Now, I've wrapped mine, because I took the uh, blue casing off, I've wrapped mine in some PVC tape, so you're not going to get no shorts. What you want to do is get your orange wire and connect that to the positive. They're marked just above them, so the positive's this one here for me. And then connect the negative to the negative. There we go, and throw the casing back in. Remember, if you've used your AUX port here, I don't ever use it in the car because I've got uh, Bluetooth, but if you use your AUX, I'd reconnect it. I'm not gonna because I don't use it. So yeah, just replace the trim, like so. And, I don't know if you can see too well, but we've got the red LED on. So it looks like it's working. Right, gonna do an actual test. There you go. First port, second port, fully working. Obviously what you wanna do now is replace that like so, no, put it back nicely, then uh, yeah, tidy up all the little bits of mess, and then you're done. Now one thing to note is that the cigarette lighter originally gets a 12 volt constant, so this will be getting a 12 volt constant, meaning that LED and the actual uh, unit will be on all of the time. The LED alone only draws around five milliamps. Five milliamps will take around 200 hours, so like eight days-ish, to draw one amp hour. Uh, that means basically that you could leave this on for half of a year and it would still only use like five, two to five percent of the car's actual battery. So there's really no issue uh, with it being on all the time, just to give you the reassurance. Also, I've got an upgraded battery and I drive the car two times a day, five days of the week and on the weekends. So I have no issue with the battery ever dying. It's never died on me. So I'm not worried about that at all. But yeah. Next video, my trunk has gone floppy on me. The, uh, the gas struts have given up, so I have to kind of lean it on my back when I want to put anything in there. I've got a new set on the way, and I'll be installing them sometime during the week. So look forward to that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.